So it is day two at the house. Um, it's freaking snowing outside. You can't even tell. Hello. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Freaking snow. Freaking snow. That's kind of cute though, because it's like the first snow in my new house, you know? Um, <laughs> I'm trying to like be positive because I honestly hate cold weather. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would say hello. So my nose is red because it's freaking cold. Um, so yesterday we pretty much finished the kitchen. You can kind of tell it's still messy, obvi. But you can tell like down in the floor areas, I did so much cleaning, oh my goodness. And like over where the stove was, I don't know if you remember how disgustingly caked it was. And then the mysterious substance that was on the wall here was candle wax, so that was pretty easy for me to remove. Um, my favorite tool for cleaning corners, I never would have guessed this looks disgusting, I promise I did not use it for a toilet, is a toilet brush. This is all cobwebs on it. Um, but it's really good for getting in corners, especially like, I put it on my Instagram, but I was cleaning the windowsill with it and I was getting in all these little ledges and stuff. So cleaning hack, use a toilet, a new toilet brush to clean the corners and baseboards and all that kind of stuff. It worked amazing, especially with that um, cleaner that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Amazing. I'm still mad at snowing. I'm gonna get back to cleaning, bye. Just a quick update. I have progressed through the hallway. So you can see the bright, shiny walls that I just cleaned. Um, this door area situation is a mess. Yay! Um, yeah, just a mess. There was obviously like an animal that lived here that like clawed at the, all the woodwork and stuff. Like, oh, the locksmith is on the way. So my house will lock today, thank God. Um, he's replacing the locks on all three doors. So all three doors will lock instead of just one out of three. Okay, I'm so excited. Um, that will make me feel so much better not being here at night because I'm not living here currently. I'm just getting it ready to live in. Um, so when I'm not here, I'm always paranoid that somebody's gonna break in and vandalize the entire place. All right, sorry if you can hear the yard work going on outside. However, on my Instagram, I've been playing this game called What's Behind That Radiator? And we're gonna play on my YouTube channel with this. So pause this video, take a moment, put a guess in the comments. What do you think is under this radiator? You're probably wrong, but it's okay because I'm about to show you what is under there. Um, the radiator cover right here um, was glued to the floor with the floor sealant. Um, so it hasn't been lifted or cleaned under in at least 20 years or whenever they did this, whenever they did this floor. Um, this floor is old, so it's been a very long time. Um, so let me know what you think is under there and I will show you in a second. I have to film a video this time, but there's a pair of sunglasses, um, some trash, a uh, fake flower, um, whatever this is, um, a broken Simba paddle ball, a lighter, a bunch of batteries, some nail clippers, two cents, some screws, a comb, a pencil, some more trash, some sugar, another battery, this really cute turtle charm that we want to clean up because it's really cute, um, a watch, um, three Nerf darts, ooh, there's more money. That's, I think that's a dime, maybe. Um, some more trash, a rosary, I think. Oh no, it's just beads. Um, more batteries, a bouncy ball, a pencil, some more trash, another flower, a bottle cap, um, and a drill bit. So, there you go. So I have moved on to the weird, I don't even know what to call this bathroom. Is it Jade? Jade inspired? I don't know. Um, it's very of a different era, but <laughs> this is what we're cleaning now. I don't remember if I should be the Finding Nemo curtain. I'm so sorry. Um, someone told me to keep it. I might in the downstairs guest bathroom, but I really want this to be a very nice, like, spa-like, tranquil area because the bathroom is, like, my sacred space. So, I'm not keeping the Finding Nemo in here, <laughs> but maybe downstairs in the guest bathroom because I'm not going to use it that often. Um... But yeah, I've already vacuumed. I have to move this giant closet thing out um, because I don't know why it was in here in the first place. There's two closets, there's three closets. There's like this big one and then there's this side one here too. So I don't know why, but it's not staying here. Um, I don't know, but like look at some of these fixes. <laughs> like this lovely three ply. There's like three boards stacked here. 
Oh, there's like a copper water pipe, and then like, uh, oh my goodness, and like it just look how sloppy, so sloppy. And then here are some of like the tobacco stains that I was talking about. I assume it's tobacco. I don't really know. It could be poop, honestly. Poop. I have to be kind of quiet because. The So I never showed you guys like the terrible fixes outside. This is my front porch, like half of it is wood. And then they put down particle board and then layered shingles on top and it's like falling through. So we have to tear down the entire side porch here just cause it's like all roofing material. So stupid and so annoying. Um, and then here is, this little back area, it was all full of dirt. We didn't know that there was actually concrete back here. Um, I didn't know that the wall ended over here either. I thought it was a full wall, but I guess not. Um, I do have a fire pit up there. I'm trying not to show all my neighbor's houses because I don't want y'all to figure out my exact address. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm having a little trouble getting motivated today to clean um, because I've been cleaning nonstop for two days. Well, longer than that because I've been cleaning my sister's house too. Um, so I just thought we would go through the clue board game really quick. <laughs> um, I also wanted to show you this super creepy like children's Bible story. It's not creepy. It's just a CD of children's Bible stories, but we found it in the basement, which is why it was creepy, along with this ancient pogo stick. <laughs> So that's fun. It's really rusty and I doubt it works, but we might have to try that in the spring when it's not snowing outside. So back to the bird game. Bird game. Um, is there anything written in the lid? The workshop. Okay, so just to recap, we are checking this clue board game to see if there's any clues in it to anything hidden in the house. Um, just because I'm like that and I think that there is something hiding um, everywhere. So far, I'm not seeing any writing on any of these. What is this? This is Modern Clue. Who are these characters? Wait, is this a theme? The second crime scene? What is this? Natalia D'Souza as Scarlet and Jack Hartman as Mustard. Are these people I should know or are these just made up names? I have no idea. I feel like I'm on Gaia online, freaking role playing again. Um, oh wow, they've got such hip outfits. Look at those. Oh, I missed the top characters too. She looks like she is about to go through the car wash. I'm not seeing any handwriting. I'm not really paying attention that closely, honestly. So nothing in here. Let's look on the things that people usually write on. So it actually looks like all the pieces are still in here, which is surprising. The spicy bedroom scene. The negligee on the bed. A surf shop. I do not remember a surf shop in Clue. A beach house. So this is definitely like the teen slasher version of Clue. And whoever she is needs to clean her table. Look at those coffee rings. The Virgo in me is screaming. I don't even know if you can see it, but. Ew, the kitchen looks disgusting too. Do your dishes. Uh, and clean up after yourself like you spilled all over. I mean, I guess these are supposed to be crime scenes, so. Makes sense. Uh, ew, same with the dining room. Y'all are a mess. 
I don't know if I can play this version. It'll give me anxiety with all the damn mess. There's an arcade. Okay. They've played a few rounds. I mean, there's like, there's still like a whole freaking notebook here. So I don't think I'm gonna find any clues in here, but especially, I thought this was like an older version of the game too, but it's like the new version, which is far less exciting, honestly. Oh yeah, here's the board. Can you see it? 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 Oh my God, there's two sides. <gasps> Wait a second. Hold up, man. Oh, that's cool. So you can play like a version of the original game. Like I don't see a conservatory on here. So like, what the hell? Um, not as good as the original. I'm just saying. But they have an arcade, a beach house, a surf shop, the Ferris wheel, and the beach. Okay, well. That was super anticlimactic. I just basically revort, reviewed a board game for you instead of finding fun clues about someone getting murdered in this house. Sorry to disappoint. I'm disappointed too, but it's okay. Still doesn't motivate me to clean at all. Well, it kind of did actually seeing those dirty cards. So maybe I was meant to look at this right now. I get motivated to clean this nasty, dirty house. <laughs> but that was it. I guess I should get back to work since I've shown you all the fun things that I found so far. We do have two more rounds of um, what's in that to play. Um, there's one more radiator upstairs to um, play what's behind that radiator. <sighs> and then um, the closet had some stuff in it. I already looked through the closet. It's not exciting, so I'll just warn you ahead of time. But I'll show you what was in it. Bye! Do you want to see something slightly disturbing? Oh my god! Can you just like... Look at how dirty under this radiator and like under the cover is like just as bad. It's like spiders and like dust. Ugh, so nasty. But I did forget about this radiator, so I guess we do have a bonus round of what's behind that radiator. So I'm gonna go get a little grabby tool and I'll pull out everything under there and I'll show you. I don't want to film this twice for Instagram and YouTube, so sorry Instagram, you're getting it landscape. <laughs> um, here is a pen, oh well, quite a few pens. A knife, here's a knife. This little plaque, what does it say? Thinking of you, oh, sad. Um, a flosser, if you wanna get some flossing done. There's a lot of change under this one. Lots of trash, this is like a metal stick, I don't know. This is a pamphlet tr for a track phone, some more change, a sticker, some colored pencils, and that's it, not very much. I am um, back at my sister's house. This is the end of day three. And it's so cold, so that's why I'm bundled up. <laughs> um, but I just want to give you a quick update. I ended up cleaning all of the walls today. So I think the only room that I really have left to clean, um, well, I have to do all the floors still, but I um, just have the first floor bedroom to do. And then that bathroom. But everything else I've pretty much cleaned. I just have to do like the kitchen, like inside the cabinets and stuff. It's like all the detail work comes next. So like all, like inside of everything, like all the cabinets and all the um, like furniture and all that kind of stuff needs to get cleaned. And then I start actually buying furniture and like um, hardware for the cabinets and stuff that's missing and like freaking new faucets and all that stuff because we just broke one of the faucets yesterday. Um, but that's most of the cleaning. I'm gonna go back tomorrow and try to finish up the first floor bedroom because I really want to get my office set up. And that room I think needs the most attention because there's like mildew growing up through the floor. <laughs> so I have to figure out how to get that out. Um, but I'm just really exhausted. My brain is dead. Um, I'm gonna try to shave because I look disgusting in these videos. <laughs> And also, I'm so sorry about, like, the vertigo that I may have caused you in this past two videos. I, I'm gonna try so much harder to not shake the camera all around as I'm moving through the house. When I film myself, I just get nervous and I, like, have to pace. So, um, that's the reason. <laughs> sorry, I really, um, apologize for that because it was, like, making me a little nauseous watching the footage. So I can only imagine how you feel at home not being the one who filmed it. So, I do apologize very much for that. I am sorry. 
Um, but that is it for today. I would love, love, love support on Patreon. Um, as an independent artist, you've heard this spiel before, yada, yada, yada. It's hard, okay? <laughs> I'm trying my hardest. I really am. But, um, I really do appreciate you just for watching this video. You don't have to send me any money. It's totally fine. Um, I'll figure it out. <laughs> I always do. Thank you for being here. Thank you for, um, being a part of the channel. Salem says hello. Kind of. She's giving me the cold shoulder. But I will check back in with you tomorrow. I will try to be less shaky. I love you. Goodbye.